is that if you're trying to think about your software system and what its architecture is, what you, the first thing you have to do is you have to figure out, well, what is important? What do we, as the, lead, the technical leadership of a project, consider to be the most important things in there? Or even on a solo project, what is the key things about this um, system? What is the most important thing in the code base that I have to keep at the top of my head when I'm working on it? That decision about what is important is really the key thing that goes on. And that is really the thing that trumps everything else. So that, if people ask me what my definition of architecture it is, I follow Ralph in this and I say it's the important stuff. But if you go to a reasonably healthy software project and you talk to the expert developers on that project, the people who are most capable, who are most familiar with a code base, they will have some common understanding of how the thing works. And it's that common understanding that is effectively the architecture. And this is important because it is also a, brings out the fact that architecture is very much a social thing. It is that fuzzy embedded understanding that really matters. And yet there may be diagrams here and there, there might be documents here and there, and they may have architecture written on them, but they're just a representation and usually an imperfect representation of that shared understanding. And what you're trying to do with a software project, particularly as software projects grow, is you want to make sure you have a good shared understanding between the people who are leading the project. That's really what matters.